Hey, bye, Pego. How are you? Good to see you again. Are you having a wonderful Wednesday? I hope so. Yeah. Let me get situated here. Hey, Gray. You're fine. Hey, Faustine. Good to see you. I'm doing well. Hey, Mal. Ah, oh, I love all these familiar faces. This is awesome. 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 Thank you. Well, I wanted to just have a conversation today around owning your own shit, right? I just have to really speak from the heart today because I've been having a lot of conversations over the past couple of days with business owners, um, with, you know, all different types of people, my husband, you know, my friends, my family members, and it's amazing how much people want to do, right? It's like, I want to go out and do this thing, right? I want to start my own business. I want to make my relationships better. I want to go and, you know, travel to Aruba or wherever the case may be or wherever the, the place may be. But I am always challenged with what happens after the conversation, Right? Because it's amazing. You have all of these wonderful things that people share with you. It's like, oh, I've got these dreams, these intentions. And then you talk to them a couple weeks later, and it's like, okay, so have you started to look at prices? You know, like what it might cost you to go to Aruba? You know, have you started to think about what it is that you might be able to do right now? Because you know what? I think a lot of people just like to talk. And then they start feeling victimized about all of the reasons that they can't do stuff. And my little doggy is uh, barking, so I'm going to let her outside real quick, if you don't mind. So give me some hearts if you know people who just talk and talk and talk, but then there's not a whole lot of friggin' action that goes with it, right? I know you know at least a couple of those people. There we go, right? And so, you know, it's just this energy, right? This energy saying, I want to do this, right? And I want to see as much energy in action. So I just want you to think for a second, is there something that you've told somebody that you want to do over the past couple of days? Maybe it's um, get in shape. Maybe it's change the culture of where you work. Maybe it's improve the relationship that you have with a close person in your life. Maybe it's, you know, go and try a new place for dinner. I mean, I'm talking that this could be scope of small or huge. But what is that thing that you said, gosh, wouldn't it be cool if I did this or if I could have this in my life? All right. So you're thinking of that thing. Now I want you to think about what are you going to do to put your money where your mouth is? What are you going to do to own your own shit? What are you going to do to actually do more than just talk about it? Right? If you watched my uh, Facebook Live yesterday, I talked about my daughter and about how awesome she is about teaching me every single day. And the fact that um, just a couple of nights ago, she told me that she wanted to start her own YouTube channel so that she could play with mermaids and have other little girls watch her. And so she said that to me the night uh, or in the evening. And then the very next morning, she woke up and said, I'm ready to record my first video. And I freaking love that because it was immediacy. It was that I want this, I said this, and now I'm going to back it up with how I am showing up. I was like, yes, how cool would it be if we all did that? Because you know what? A lot of people just sit around and bitch. They bitch about all the reasons that they can't do something. Right? But if we spend as much energy thinking about what we could do and actually just doing it, then it would be amazing. Look at her mama. Oh, yeah, you know, that, that was really um, beautiful feedback for me as I've been, you know, sharing this story with people. Is they're like, you know, the apple doesn't fall, fall far from the tree, but, you know, I get sucked into this all the time too. It's like, you know, I said, ooh, I want to have this bright and shiny new project. It's like, but when do I actually freaking do it? <laughs> right? So, man, it's just a really good reminder for me. I hope it's a great reminder for you today that there's always, always, always something that you can do. Right? I've been frustrated with my schedule. I have been packing way too much shit into my schedule. And I know better because I always, I always underestimate the amount of time that it takes me to do stuff. I mean, always. And you, I, I even, um, if you are a client of mine or you've worked with me, you know that there's the Sarah rule where I figure out how much time I think it's going to take. And then I need to like times it by three and then schedule that amount of time. It still doesn't work, you know, because it just always takes longer time. So I'm frustrated with my schedule. And instead of just being frustrated and bitching to my husband about it and then, you know, working until all hours of the evening, like I could do something today to figure that shit out, right? And so I'm finally gotten real and decided that I need to hire an intern stat, 
right? So I've reached out to a couple of my friends. I'm like, all right, let's figure this out because I know that there's something today that I can do to make tomorrow a different reality. So that's my message for today, baby. Go out, own your shit. If something's frustrating to you or you want something, then figure out what you're willing to trade for it. Sometimes it's about courage to have a courageous conversation with somebody, especially when it's at work, right? Especially when it's about the people that you have to see all the damn time. But I tell you what, if you can have the courage to bring that conversation to light and then couple it with the consideration factor of noticing that you might rub somebody the wrong way by telling them something that they don't wanna hear, you're gonna win. Right? Because you've got to have enough belief in how you're feeling and what you want in the world to know that it's going to be okay and that you are who you are and you've got to own it. Whatever you want, whatever you want to achieve, you can do it. Right? You've got these ideas for a freaking reason, so go and rock it. So have that courage to give your ideas voice, to make requests of people around you, to make offers if you see that there's a different way, a better way, a more influential way. And yeah, just just do it. So stop being the you know the the group of people, the the majority of people that just talk. And join the you know some people will call it the ten percent. I tend to think more day more so now that it's more like the five percent or maybe even the one percent of people that actually just do it. They show up, they put their big girl panties on, and they make the magic happen. So. Have a lovely day. If you think that you need help in making your magic happen, then I want you to reach out to me because I have a couple of spots open right now for private coaching and I only work with millennial rock stars who are ready to lean into their stuff, right? To let go of the fear and you know, that are wanting to have that life that just feels like it is theirs. It's in alignment with their, their passions, their strengths, their values. So if that is you, then reach out to me. You can find me on Twitter. I'm Milcoach and uh, yeah just shoot me a message and I would love to, to have a conversation right now so don't wait do it within 24 hours and let's kick some ass together bye bye